What is going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. We are here to talk about good, and that is the project Feels Good Man, and this is another in the line of Matt Fury-based projects. It is another Pepe token, and listen, Pepe tokens, as you know, do tend to have some really nice runs up and down charts, and we're going to take a look at the chart. Uh, give you an idea here. Market cap close to a million was over a million for a long period of time, getting closer to two million. So this is one that has some attention, has some eyes on it. Total volume over the last 24 hours is one million dollars. I'm going to go show you this right here. And as you can see on this chart, there is a lot of wild swinging and volume. Now, if I'm telling you guys what I think is going to happen and we're being clear about it, you've seen this pattern develop a lot. You see this move up here. You see this kind of stagnation sort of area as we wait for that next leg up. You get that next leg up, uh, but after you have a dip to come back down here, and it looks like we're about in that situation uh, all over again. Now, there's never a guarantee of profit. There's never a guarantee in a risk-based asset. Now, I am partnered with these guys for this video. This is not my recommendation. This is not my endorsement to tell you that you should be buying this project. It is my responsibility to tell you to do your own research and figure out what is best for you. But I am here to tell you what I see. And if I'm looking at a chart and this is what I see, then this is what I think the next step is. And you can go back and you can look at all of the risk-based assets. You can go look at Pepe. You can go look at any one of these. Uh, Bob, uh, uh, I think there was Bambi out there for a while. Uh, there was Lambo. You know, we had a nice little run in meme coins not too long ago. A lot of them brought about by Pepe and Pepe-based meme coins tend to have a very specific pattern. Now, uh, I will tell you the most important part of this is make sure that you are buying where your value area lows are so that you are getting in at a good position. This, by the way, is tracked on CoinMarketCap. This is being followed by Binance. This is uh, something that does have a significant amount of volume, a significant amount of people uh, uh, trading this project. So there is some opportunity here in my estimation. So uh, if I come over here to the... Um, uh, to the Twitter account, then I can see through here that they are a very active community. Uh, again, million dollar market cap, million dollars in trade volumes. They're giving off the good vibes. Uh, Pepe based. It, it's kind of what you're looking for, right? When you're in this sideways action sort of market or this market that's feeling like it's suffocating, you're looking for something like this. Uh, Coin market cap just listed them. So, you know, a lot of little things coming along as we go. And, you know, this chart right here, uh, just to give you guys an idea, I, you know, I see the same thing. That's why I'm telling you that I think that this is the move uh, back to that upside for their next leg up. I, 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 I would get that assessment and that estimation. Uh, and, and by the way, uh, just to give you guys a, a clear understanding and an idea of what we're seeing here, that's kind of what we're seeing right here that would indicate that we've got our, our nice little bounce. And if you look at it long term and you take it for uh, this sort of area right here, then you can see that we're actually in the zone, which if this were, if we were looking at this as a chart right now, I would be telling you that this is the value area and that this right here would be your point of control. So uh, it, 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 I think that we're in that range right now where we come back up to the point of control and then we make a decision on what's going to happen next. And then that's where the pump would start and and where it would begin. So uh, I do think that this thing is playing out in a pretty good fashion. Now, the other part that I would tell you is the market cap is 665,000, but the volume is 1 million. Those two things tend to kind of merge into one another. It's not a, it's not it's 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 not uh guaranteed. There's nothing is ever guaranteed in risk-based assets, but um, it, it sure does look like when you've got a million dollars in trading volume, you're probably going to hit a million dollars again uh, because that volume still continues to be there. And if it kicks up just a little bit, then you never know when it could get wild. And remember, because it's Pepe and because it's a Matt Fury based uh, project, then you might see, you know, this this sort of uh, Pepe magic happen. Uh, there's no guarantee. Uh, but but you might just kind of see uh, that Pepe based thing happen. If you're interested, I'm going to link all the socials. I'm going to put the contract address down 
uh, in the comment section. And in fact, in the description, I mean, uh, but it, you should leave a comment down below to get this video trending to more people uh, because that, my friends, that feels good, man. Now, uh, if you are interested, all the information is in the description down below. This was not financial advice. My name is Believes. I am always right. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again.